The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family, Sergil is back. <laughs> Has begun. I teach people to overcome their fears, and I'm not gonna get in a car to freaking do this. Training me to do what? Enjoy a vacation? That's why I made this trip. I don't like when people tell me no. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. As some of you know, I travel a lot, doing a lot of seminars, and get involved with a lot of conventions. This one happened to be in Orlando, Florida. Yes, we are. My name is Oliva. We've made it to our hotel, the place where we're going to be staying. It's a two-day event, so I'm really excited. I may not look excited, but I'm tired. Probably from the sleep apnea. <laughs> and this one was at the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress. Who just got a delivery? A delivery. Okay. Bert and Alexa, welcome to Orlando and the wild world of events. Thank you for your support of the FFE8 as a speaker this year. Our attendees are looking forward to your session. I hope you enjoy your stay and these saffron snacks. Suzanne. That's so sweet. Oh, look at that little snack pack. Only LJ would take up this much space with his bow ties. Yeah, only you. Well, I have to make sure they're visible. When I'm dressing, I have to make sure everything's color coded. Am I going to wear dots? Am I, am I going to have pinstripes? No, seriously. Going down. Some of these conventions, for the most part, they always have a theme. This year's theme at the FFEA was the wild world of events. It was like a safari. Every time I turned around, there was an animal. <laughs> you never know who you're going to meet. It was so cool. And of course, we had to see LJ kissing the zebra's butt. <laughs> and then we got a bunch of Instagram feedback, and they were telling me how much they like my pig. <laughs> it was a rhino. It wasn't a pig. Bert and, I, Bert and I have noticed this social wall. So we're trying to take over the wall. Yeah, so he just posted a picture um, because, you know, we like this. So we're going to see how long it takes to actually see it. Oh my gosh, we actually went up. We did it. That was easy. What do you think, man? It's a competition. It's showtime. Getting ready to start the event, leading people into our room. When I am asked to speak at a convention, it's a little difficult because I'm used to doing the three, four day events or 10 hour speeches. At this event, they asked me to see if I was able to talk a little bit more about social media and we did a great job. And I'm not just saying that, but it was a great job. The turnout was amazing. The connection with the audience was great. This is the wave of the future. Does it make sense, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. One of the things that I really enjoy is being in the back of the room and just seeing people interact and get engaged and really learn from the from the presentations that Bert does. That's a high in its own. You guys have this expectations coming to one of these events? No. no. So you never know what you might find. Bert rocked the house and people were not expecting for a speaker to be that good. What are you gonna do? Make it happen! Definitely woke me up. He gave a great presentation. Make it happen! So we just finished the presentation and it was awesome. A lot of people came up to us afterwards and want to invite people to people <laughs> want to invite Bert to their upcoming events and stuff, which is good, which is why we do these things. The thing is, they wanted to eat fire. Yeah, they really wanted to do a break. <laughs> uh, I almost wanted to like pull it out and have them do it, but no. no. At least you know they got. Always leave them wanting happen. more. <laughs> Bert did awesome. Everyone loved Bert uh, so much so that they were like, "You got." It you know, more time, you can finish. So I think it was awesome. What do you think about the event? I want to go eat and explore. <laughs> <laughs> it's lunchtime and have we had breakfast? Sort of. So at every single showcase, there was entertainment. They had stuff from like guards interchanging to guitar soloists to people juggling and singing and... It was just a lot of cool stuff. We have some people here that have been coming to this conference for 19 and 20 years and quite a few of you that's your first year year so I hope you've enjoyed your time so 
far, and you will continue to enjoy that this evening and tomorrow as well. And this is a wonderful, wonderful event tonight. And of course, at every excellent conference, the nighttime is probably one of the best times where everybody just lets loose. And we dance and we drink and we have conversations and we make plans and we just have a really good time. People still got excited. By the end of the night, everybody was making it happen. You can't take LJ anywhere. Because as long as there's music and an opportunity to dance, he dances. <laughs> favorite things to watch are fireworks. I love watching fireworks. It's a lifestyle. That boom and the colors and the explosions and the... It just makes me smile. <laughs> yeah. Let's review what just happened. For some of you that are speakers or you have an opportunity to speak to an audience, I've noticed that some people take it way too serious. Make sure that you connect with your heart. Have fun with it. It's more like work, play, and balance. Being able to do it all at once. When you're off that stage and you're at the after party, just have fun. That's what people want. People want to meet real people and connect with you for real. There's a second lesson in this video. And it has to do with not having any expectations. When you go into something with an open heart and an open mind, not only will you learn something, something that you may not have learned before, you will experience something different. Make sure that next time you get invited to go to a presentation, have no expectations. You never know what you're gonna learn. And like always, I hope you enjoy this video as much as we enjoy making it for you. Don't forget to make it happen. Hi, I'm Alexa from Welcome to the Family. And don't forget to comment, like, share. Oh yeah, and subscribe.